what the hell did I just do there? I switched. That was stupid. My mistake. Welcome everyone back to workout 43. The pot is simmering. We are now in cruise control. Just like I said, I told you these would be some basic back and off workouts, but they're not going to be boring. We have three new moves today an evolution of one extra move. We're living on the clock today instead of sets. So that's going to be a 10 minute AMRAP in the first section and a 20 in the second. That means the fittest and the slowest can all work together. We're all doing 10 minutes of work. That kind of pushes you to do a little more because you minimize on rest. Piece of cake. Let's check out the board, get into the warm up, and smash these two cruise control workouts. On the board, the first section, like I said, was our three sets of 10 reps. We're going to do a 10 minute AMRAP, which might be 30 reps roughly, might be a little more. The dead stop swing. So we're swinging with a kettlebell or a dumbbell. If you have a dumbbell, make sure you have something rubbery or soft underneath that dumbbell to put down. Kettlebells are a little easier to dead stop, no problem. Chest fly, you can do that off the flat floor, off the ball like I showed you, leaning on an ottoman or off your bench, easy. And then we've done the Turkish sit up. We're gonna do Turkish sit up into bridge, which is just before the sweep. So we're learning one extra little move to what the full Turkish get up eventually will be. And it's gonna be 15, 15, and five per side of that. Part two is a 20 minute AMRAP. We're gonna do a single dumbbell complex and it's gonna start with full reps on one side of the body. So you're gonna start with five reps and you're gonna to go to 10 then 15. And if you're really fit going fast or a really light dumbbell going fast, you can make it into the 20 rounds and the 25s. You just keep going until you hit that time cap. So it's gonna be single leg RDL with a dumbbell, not putting down the weight, just hanging on same arm into snatch on that same side into a seated split Z press. That'll be challenging for some with the mobility and to a layback on the ball or on a bench, single arm chest fly we've done before. You need to shift your body and control all that tension through the core when the weight wants to twist you off the target. And that is as easy as it is today, maybe not easy at all. Let's get to the warm up. All you need is a mat and two light dumbbells and we are off to the cruise control races. Okay, we're into this warm up. You have your mat and two dumbbells ready. Let's start with some easy cat cows and I'll put us through the full body prep here. Spine, flexion, extensions. We love these by now. Again, that magic number is anywhere from six to 12 reps. Okay, finger on temple, the T-spine twist. T-spine is the mid-spine that gets really tight on everyone. Restricts your ability to press overhead. Again, hopefully no one's feeling sore at all from the last two workouts. You're able to just take one day off and get back into it, no problem. Most of your fitness journey is going to be like that. They will not be floor soul crushing workouts where you can't got to peel your corpse off the ground. Next side. Get those cracks out, loosen up. Try to observe your body actually loosening up over the course of 12 reps. Okay, we'll do a little new move here. We've done it standing as a hip circle. So we're going to hold one knee up. We're going to kick it back, swing out to the side, and bring it through all the way up like a donkey kick or the glute kick. Circle out, back in. So just maximize the full range of motion on that hip without cheating too much lean. Okay, next side. Kick all the way up, externally rotate, swing through, reset. Okay, clear your mat on the hard floor. You can still kneel on your mat. We're gonna go into a tall plank. Okay, so bridge the mat if it's down there and open the arm up windmill. 
big, big, big. We go six o'clock, 12 o'clock, and at least two more o'clocks past. Some might be able to get to nine o'clock over there. Switch side. Back and forth. Start getting some stability through the arms, through the shoulder system. All right, pop up. We'll go into a real wide split stance, the double pulse and shoulder backward circle. Pulse, pulse, up, backward circle. Pulse, pulse. So even though we have the new moves today, they're not crazy technical, so you'll just be able to see it once and you'll be able to copy and we'll jump right in. So I won't have to teach that during the warm up. You'll just see it on the fly and figure it out. Remember, all exercises that ever exist are based off the family of five major movements plus core stability and rotation. So even though Z press is in the splits on the floor single arm, yeah, it's still just a shoulder press. You can always just dumb it down that way. And if you think anything is crazy, you can just look at it and go, oh, that's just a shoulder press. I'm just gonna do this sitting in a chair, standing up with a barbell, whatever. Okay, and then we're gonna do a little Jefferson curl with no weights. So you'll take your two dumbbells or your textbooks or whatever you've been using in the past, throw the toes up. Okay, sometimes you can do this with weight to help weigh the body down. We'll just do about eight or so, start with the chin, Segmented roll the spine, flex your abs to pull, pull you down. Quads are flexed. Uh, I get stuck right there for now. Unwind. <sighs> flex back in. Uh, unwind. And only if you're super tight, break the knee slightly, but you can still just stop higher and train. And that's a good ruler to see where you're getting. <sighs> And this is the only time we're allowed rounding our back for the warm up drill because we're not under any main major load. Uh, you can see that it's just been six reps and I can already close in. I closed in four or five inches there and I can touch my toe no problem. So that's not me gaining mobility, it's just me regaining the mobility I already have. Uh, and if you did this as homework, like I said, the squat should be three minute squats it, three minute hangs like this. You can get a crazy amount of mobility nice and quick. Okay, done with that. And we'll take both dumbbells up. Let's get some upper body going. So just straight neutral press, 10 reps shoulder press. One, down, two, three, four. So unless you want to, nothing today is double pressing. You can do doubles if you want, but it's going to be a lot of single arm work. Dumbbell fly in the first will be double sided. That'll be the only time you need two dumbbells at the same time. Or you can just do bench press again, whatever variation you feel like doing. Okay, split stance, the front fly. Ten. Okay, and then we'll just do some loaded stiff leg RDL. We have the single leg RDL coming up. We've done that before, so not much teaching. I did write on my board the door hinge, and I'm looking at my door hinge over there. Hinging, I've gone through the whole, we did that in the first or second workout, and I'm sure I've said it before, but to truly just verbalize what the hinge is doing, the door hinge is literally your hip socket working. The door is your spine. So no door that I've ever seen has a door that warps and moves and bends while you're trying to do a move. So the door is your loaded spine. The door hinge is your hip. And that's exactly as clean and as easy it is to comprehend what a hip hinge is. And I'm happy with that. So again, for first round of 10 minute AMRAP, you're gonna need your kettlebell or dumbbell to swing with. 
Kettlebells are easier to land, like I said. The dead stop swing lands in front, and there might be a little bump. You're never supposed to have that, but if there's a thud, you'll want to have something there to land the dumbbell on every rep because we stop and reset. Light dumbbells for 15 fly. I'll probably use 20 pounders. Uh, flat ground is okay. That's a floor fly. Use the ball like I've showed or use your bench. And then Turkish sit up can be with your kettle, one kettlebell or one dumbbell. And I'll show you, we've done them before. We just push up to stiff arm and extend the hip and come back down. And that's five per side, 15, 15, five per side. Get ready for that. And we rip on the clock. Okay, we're back into part one. Right before we start, we're gonna rehearse five dead stop swings. And then we'll just do two of the Turkish sit up, uh, bridge extensions, hip extensions, body weight, just so we know what we're doing. And then I'll start that 10 minute clock. Chest fly is just light dumbbells. Everyone knows what's going on there. So dead stop swing is 100% the hip hinge family with that loaded spine. Instead of linking swings, we stop the bell always in front where a bell should always be when you start any pickup rep off the floor. So your bell or dumbbells in front of you, I can just see myself good cropped. I'm gonna reach down, I'm gonna load the lats, start with a really loaded back. I'm gonna come through into the first swing, up, power the hip, down and park it exactly where I started. So everyone copy that, I got a nice side profile for you. Pull through, hit power, down, boom. Remember, you're just standing tall, we're not extending and arching. Tall, down, back, I'm not heaving a broken spine. That makes me shorter than if I was standing as tall as I can. If I'm not finishing the extension, I'm also shorter. There's only one position, your tallest and strongest, good enough for me for rehearsal. Okay, and then land on the ground. I'm abandoning my mat because it sabotaged me last time. Turn my mic. I think I can be seen back here. So we'll just do this two on one side and you'll, you'll get the point. So we lay down, okay? Same foot is up where the weight will be. That's your push foot. We've gone as far as here before and all we're gonna do is push through this foot to elevate into full extension. On a real Turkish get up, you don't have to go that high. You just need enough room for the sweep to come through. But we're going to go extend, back, down, up, extend, back, down, just to make it more of a core exercise. That's what we're up to. 15 swing, 15 fly, and five per side of those, I'll call them Turkish sit up bridges. Okay, clock's going to start. 10 minutes. Here we go. Crank your tunes. And I'm not sure how many times you get through. If you're light and moving quick, you'll get through a lot. If you're going big weight, you're not gonna get through as much. 15 dead stops, begin. Every rep is powerful, full reset. Try to make no noise when you set that weight down. It's like landing a plane, not crashing an asteroid. And it takes some time because it's a full stop. Back never leaves a perfect neutral locked position. I think that was 16, I'm gonna stop right there. Clear that out of the way. And I'm just keeping the flow. Remember, don't red line, but get yourself into a sweat. Got my light little 20 pounders here. Okay, I'm gonna just test what chest range I have. I like the little turn, palms turn in, open, palms turn in to tap. Tap the inside corner of the dumbbells together. Not over your eyes, you'll get dust in them. Keep it right over the chest line. Remember, this is acting as our big warm up. And this workout is designed to be pretty quick. We just need a good sweat today, good muscle pump, and we're out. Ah. <sighs> 
knees up, catch dumbbells, swing you out, put them away. So the dumbbell you were just swinging, you can use same weight for the sit up. I'm going to use a little lighter because I'm swinging the 50 pounder. So I have a 35 pounder for this sit up. I'm going to start right arm, same knee, kick the other foot nice and wide, lock the arm straight up. You can use two hands this whole time to assist. And now we are just going through using that grounded foot to push and come down, control back up and down. Once you start any part of the Turkish sit up, get up process, this arm stays locked. You're not bringing it down and resting until you switch sides or you just can't go anymore. Four. Five. Okay. Only if the bell's light come across the chest. Otherwise, you're always going around the head to the opposite side. We always roll fetal position, baby position into the bell, hug it, double roll the chest, double arm help, set that foot. Then you can let go, keep the lock. Up, extend, down, control the lowering. Catch your two hands, bring it down, roll it out. If you watched my 000 video, the intro, you'll see how easy it is for me to pick apart bad Turkish get up videos online. They're everywhere, horrible, self taught people have never had their own guidance trying to get the views. Going around again. Kettlebell swing is the hips, it's not your arms. Your arms are loose chains, like a kid on a swing set. Your hips are the parent pushing the kid through. You have no ability to, to lift the bell unless we're doing American overhead swing. That's for another day. Okay, we're looking like we'll get two and a half sets through here. I don't know if I'm going slow or just talking. Too much. Flies feel way better. This round through. Okay, my bell's on the left side, so I'm just gonna go down and start on that side. Roll into it, dumbbell the same. Two hands does all the work to help it up. One last little adjustment if you need to. Same leg bent, dug in, begin. Bottom arm can do a few little micro adjustments if you need it to be more stacked underneath you. Down, You're coming around. Two hand work to get it up. Mm. 
just as easy a dumbbell. Two breaths, 2.30 to go. Be strong for these. It's always ahead. Ninety seconds to go. Oh, crap. Mike, crush the mic. Can't rush a fly. My long arms, these twenties are ooh, doing the job. Thirty seconds to go. Not really worth rushing. I'll do one rep per side with my big green here. Bring it down, control around. And I ejected my mic, complete fail. That's 10. Two hands. Bring it down, come on. Stupid design. Okay, water break, breather. Getting ready for the next circuit. All you need is one heavy kettlebell or one dumbbell. Okay, we're into part two. We're about to start a 20 minute clock that I'm gonna pause at 10 minutes to sneak in a little water break, break up the clip and we're gonna go. All you really need is one dumbbell or one kettlebell. I own all this equipment, so I'm setting up an emergency fund. My super lights, I'm gonna have mediums 35s here, dumbbell and kettlebell, and I have a 55 or 50, whatever, 53 pound kettlebell and the 50 pound dumbbell. So I'll do the first 10 minutes with dumbbell and then I'll switch to the last 10 minutes with kettlebells just to break it up for whoever's at home watching and advanced is going to be everything is on one arm the hole is through before you switch to the other hand so we're going to start with fives of everything then tens and then fifteens and then twenties so fives fives tens tens intermediate or beginner you can go back and forth and break it up the whole way through A little rehearsal of the moves remember the single leg RDL forehead and the heel move together. Your weight is on the same side that that dumbbell or leg goes back, sorry. So we're doing five of those. Snatch whoop, through the center is straight up the body. Okay, it's going to tax the grip because we're not letting go of that bell or putting it down. Z press we haven't done is on the floor. Okay, nice splay of the legs. Try to push the kneecaps into the ground. Single arm press. If you can't do this, it's just too tough. Sit your butt up on something and just splay the legs and just do a seated single arm press, no problem. And then the single arm chest press, 
you're laying down right away, pressing off the floor. I'll have the ball laying there to do single arm ball or just use your bench nearby piece of cake. Okay, so all that one side before you switch to the other. Clock starts in 10 seconds. Okay, I got my 50 pounder, five RDL. Five snatch, load with the hips, straight up, straight down. Okay, five Z press. I'm going to my medium weight. I'm trying to sit down on the floor. You need to be able to keep a straight stack spine. Five. Elbow follows where your leg is pointing. Four, three, two, one. Oh, I forgot to get my bowl. Everything is close in a garage gym. Heavy weight comes back. I'm leaning back. Glue bridging up to make it a flat press. Uh, this leg's got a brace. Five, four, three, two, one. And set it there. Get ready for my five RDLs. That worked out pretty well. Okay, next arm. Everything looks good. That was 90 seconds. Remember, heel and the nose work at the same pace. Snatch. Two. Four. Five. Leave that over here. Z press. Yeah. Elbow follows where that leg is. That brace, squeeze your opposite fist, create tension, flex the quads. That's out in front. 50 pound dumbbell here. Ball comes in. Remember this dumbbell wants to twist you. So your same leg, same side is really pushing into ground to create anti-rotation. So it's not gonna be the heavy weight today. It's gonna be the non-stop volume that fatigues us, but we're not really crushing ourselves with the big load. So it's gonna be hard in the session, but not too hard for recovery afterwards. Okay, I finished everything. I go back to the first arm for 10 of everything per side. <sighs> Hold on if you need to for the RDL. All those recommended modification easy versions are on the side videos. <sighs> I try not to put my foot down. I try to link the balance. Oh, except when I'm talking and not paying attention. I should have been doing this with my 50. I forgot. Nope. What the hell did I just do there? I switched, that was stupid. My mistake, snatches should be on this side all in a row. Complete mental fart breakdown. I was just showing the intermediates what they can do, break it up back and forth.
Ooh. Everybody there. Z press is going to be tough with this weight off the floor. You can't just bend your legs up like this if you need to. Straight, stiff, loaded spine is master law. Oh man. Okay, and then wheeling my ball in for 10. Chest press off the same side. If you're on a bench, your spine is right on the far edge of the bench. You shift your body weight off. Oh, I shouldn't have stopped. Okay, so I already did the RDLs there. We'll start with snatch. 10 on this side. 343 to go until the halfway. Side profile, pulling straight up. I'm not swinging out in front of me. Just watch your one knee. Yep. It's hard on the press family today. Ball comes in. The dumbbell comes up. Two handed effort till you're ready. Settling in. This press is way harder to do. Exceeding my capacity right now. I'm going to move to the bench for this one. I'll clear that out at the 10 way, 10 minute break. Okay. So I'm on to 15s. I'm going to start with my 15. Right arm only, and then I'm gonna have to take a break at the 10. Here we go. Oh, son of a bugger. Keep that balance. Remember, floor isn't the goal. You're not trying to droop to the ground. You're trying to maintain stiff body line. 15 snatch, I can get those done before 10. Use your legs. Oh. 
Whew. I'm going to stop the tape at 10 and I'll rejoin in a sec. <laughs> Okay, we're rejoining the 10 minute clock in five seconds. I'm on the Z press and I switched to kettlebells now. Bench is in front. Here we go. Five, four, three, two. 15, oh. Leave that back here. I'm gonna try a green for 15. I don't know if it's gonna work. So I have the bench now. And then this far ridge centers right down my spine and butt crack and center of the head. This leg's my kickstand. So I'm laying down, shifting, two hands helping. Nope. No one to quit it. Not gonna work. But I got a little 45 substitute. Back in, didn't miss a beat. Didn't miss a beat, I'm beating. Kettlebells like dumbbells. Let's have deep range of motion, probably more than a dumbbell. And this is where the advanced stick into one side, you get stuck. I could switch to keep the flow, but I'm staying on the one side to tax myself. Five more. Shifting up. Brace. Roll it up and out. I'll see you in a little bit. Oh. Okay, 15 on my left side. Kettlebell snatch now. So dumbbell snatch is a straight up pull. Kettlebell snatch, we use the hip swing momentum and we redirect up the body. We don't really swing out in front. Twelve, thirteen, and landed out in front just like you did with the dead stop. Ooh. That wasn't tiring at all. A little kettlebell, twenty-five pounder. Catch my breath. And I realize I skipped the RDLs, but I'm going to stick those in. That'll be a good break before the chest press. So I'll do them next. See, you can totally screw up delivery and still keep the flow going. Okay, sorry. Left hand RDL is coming up. See, on one connected piece, hip is still the hinge. Strong heel kick. Don't be loose with the knee and the toe point. Ooh. 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 
and it's a little harder single sided, easier two dumbbells when you're balancing yourself out. Three more, burning, burning. Nope. Two. One perfect balance. Oh, sweat towel and the single arm chest press. Under five minutes to go. Keep your pace up so it's a little more conditioning today. Always two hands helps you get sorted. Commit that down. Mike's in the way. Mike, Mike, Mike. Get the shift. Same side leg as your kickstand. Oh, chilling for a sec. Five more. Steam's coming off my head. I've never taught the kettlebell false grip here or a kettlebell grip position at all, but there's only one way. Wrist is dead straight. There's no bend in the wrist. Two hands help. And get out of there. Three and a half to go. Where am I? 20 reps right side. Go a little quicker, I'll use the 45er. Again, the perk to having many weights to select from. Instead of living off one dumbbell, one kettlebell, you're gonna outgrow it anyway eventually, so you might as well start collecting. So if only near the end you realize, well, I'm gonna finish 20 on one side and zero on the other, you can stop and break it up. Ah, fifteen. Come on, nineteen. Ah, twenty. Twenty reps, two toe touches. Ah. Well, I'm not gonna get there, so I'm gonna do twenty on the other side just to make sure I'm even all the way through. Eleven burning. Seventeen. Ninety seconds. Okay, I'll do 10 snatch per arm. Ooh, because I'm not going to make it even all the way through. On the half swing switch. Uh, 
And that's going to be it for me. So there's a 20 minute timeout. All you chest junkies, knuckle dragger wannabes, permission to go in and finish all of your chest press reps. Yeah, you can go for it, sure. Ah, just know when it comes down to the crunch, RDL snatch is a way more full body dynamic beneficial movement. So that's why you pick your full body workouts all the time. We don't do selective muscle work unless it's a bonus. That's all I gotta say. Super out of breath, super quick, efficient workout. Sometimes they're just like that. We have a thousand to get through. So some will be like this, some are gonna be those over hour grinders. All right, so workout 44 is coming up. Cruise control part two. What's it gonna be, you should know by now, it's gonna be the pull, pull, squat, and lunge variations. I have a nasty bungee through kettlebell squat, same as the deadlift, bungee deadlift. Uh, squat variation, brutal. We're gonna do that as well. That's all I gotta say. Share it with a friend. Like, subscribe if you haven't. Share it with the family. Get your gang going. Get fit. Grow the Peacock Army. Keep it up. See you back for the next workout.